Hello there. That's my best Obi-Wan Kenobi reference. Welcome back to Dudes and Dudes. Thanks for being here. Uh, today, actually, just to give you a little recap, we got some videos coming up soon. Just got back from New York. I was spending some time with family and it was well spent time. Spent a little bit of time with my dad and my stepmom and I got to see a lot of friends. I got to eat a lot of New York pizza. That was one of my favorite things. Uh, I had a lot of good food in general. I had some breakfast sandwiches, which I might make another video of. They're famous in Long Island. If you know, you know. Drove back all in one fell swoop, probably about a 15 hour drive. And um, now I'm back in the swing of things, back home. And uh, I bought myself a gift today. Today is Prime Day. Hopefully you got some good stuff as well. I got myself a uh, espresso machine. Yeah, look at this. It's an espresso. So I've always been a huge fan of getting uh, like a real deal espresso machine, except I drink more coffee than I drink espresso. For a long time, I've kind of gone back and forth thinking if I get an espresso machine, I'll probably only make espresso in the weekend. You know, I, it'll become a hobby. I'll become engulfed in it. So I bought myself a mini espresso machine. This one is uh, pretty high quality. It's a Breville, uh, which is the same company that I'd probably buy the other one from, but it uses the uh, capsules. And uh, we tried this one time. We had a, a demo in Orlando at the Millennium Mall and we had, um, we had like the little capsules. These are the bigger ones. Supposedly they're better, a little more expensive, but um, supposed to taste better. So it was on sale and I said, let me treat myself and bought myself uh, an espresso machine. So um, we're gonna do a little unboxing and set up. And then because it's really late at night, I'm drinking tea instead of coffee. It's, uh, it's after eight and uh, I don't wanna be up until tomorrow morning. So I'm going to set it up now and then um, we'll make a cup of coffee in the morning when I'm when I'm bright in the morning I need to wake up we'll just we'll make a cup of coffee so come with me let's do this okay so the first thing I got I didn't realize this is actually a part of the Breville so I opened it so we're gonna go and make pretend oh look at this I haven't actually opened these boxes from here but these are the Nespresso <clears throat> Nespresso capsules and it says Nespresso here, Malazio, and it's 85% recycled aluminum. These are 7.7 .7 ounces. They are medium roast, kind of a little more than medium. And it says, why we love it. You can't help but fall for Malazio. It's a harmonious blend of fine quality Brazilian bourbon and Central American Arabicas lightly roasted to create a rounded coffee that is smooth and perfectly balanced. All right, I'm excited about it. So these, these are, I think you just like poke this thing open here and then these kind of are perforated, perforated. And then open this guy up. And then that's what they look like. Pretty cool, right? Little kind of pods. Let's see. And then the other one is called Stormio. Stormio. I kind of like that name. Stormio. It's a 7.7 .7 ounces. Dark roast. 8 out of 11. So it's pretty dark. And then this one says why we love it. Stormio. It's a dark roasted blend that rushes in with a myriad of aromas. But how can that all that strength come from Arabicas? A slow, a long, slow roast intensifies the Nicarag Nicaraguan and Guatemalan cereal aromatics, notes, spices, and wood. Virtual coffee is a gathering storm in a coffee cup. Wow, Stormio. Should be exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside for now. Then you gotta open this big boy. See here, it says Breville. The model is 
BNV for two zero IBL Vituro plus ink black. That's the Nespresso Virtuo. I need a scissor. Okay, got a scissor. Box within a box. I've always been a fan of of uh, Breville. We have a uh, we had a couple Breville things here. Take this out of here. Oh, this is hard. Looks so cool. It's over here. Wow. Look at this thing. Espresso, double espresso, grand lungo, and coffee. It also makes coffee. Okay. Okay. Wonder what kind of coffee it makes. On the back it says sustainability commitment. This is a picture of it. It's got the mug. It's got all the parts, types of it. Shows you the coffees here, espresso, coffee, and barista creations, which I'm kind of excited about. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Like that. Like that. Wow, it's a fancy box. Oh wow, whole thing just opens right up here. We've got a little safety packet. See that? Well, we've got the directions. Virtual Next, the different brands. And I think that, yeah, that's the instructions. And then here is a Breville manual, probably some other things. This looks like some kind of plastic thing that we're gonna use maybe for your cup. Maybe this goes on your cup. Yeah, this is the drip tray maybe. Okay. What's this? What else? So what else here? Let's see. Let's see what else? Oh, more coffees. What the heck? Look at all these. Wow. I got a lot of coffee to start off this thing with. Looks like it has a Il Cafe, Altiso, Altiso Decaffeinated, Volteso, and then there's a double espresso, Char. Chario, Bianco, Legrio, Fortado, Costa Rica, it even has coffee. It has Intenso, Stormio, Melazio, and Colombia. So that's kind of exciting. Look at that. Ooh, got so many pods. So many pods to start with. All right, now the unit. This thing pops off. All right, it's a side here. Nothing in there, it's just a heavy, really nice packaging. We've got this thing, the reservoir, and then the unit. Discover. And that's it, that's all that's in the box. So I'm gonna move this bad boy. I'll try to fold this up. Move this here, fold this here. I guess the quickest way to a cup of coffee, just by opening this box, it kind of collapses. Good thinking. All right, here is, here's a machine. And then this goes here. Let me take all this plastic off. Let's see here. Wow. Crazy. Here we go. So this pulls off. Nice. Very satisfying. Boom. Garbage. Put that here. We got another piece of plastic. And then this has plastic on it. And we're gonna pull that off. Very nice. Ooh, fancy. 
Fancy. No, it goes like this somehow. Hmm. Yes. It goes like this. Pops right in there. And then this thing I go here. Ah, see, it goes like this. So if you change the level, right? And then this goes in here, peels off, a little honeycomb for a drip tray. You pop that boy boy in there. And look at that. Look at that. What's this thing for? I don't even know. All right, let's open up the manual. First steps. Get it in English. Okay. I think that's it. Turn on. This has Bluetooth. What? Look at that. It says turn on off Bluetooth and Wi Fi. I was not able to get this to work and I didn't want to spend the time just to register it. It does nothing else besides register it with Nespresso. So let's skip to the good part. You can use the app to order coffee and accessories and things like that from the store and that was very useful. However, the Bluetooth just wasn't wasn't working. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I got to rinse this and get it ready for tomorrow. Clean. Fill it up with some fresh water over here. Goes like this. Okay, uh, I'm giving up on the Bluetooth. I don't even know if it does anything. I think it's just supposed to register your your machine to Nespresso online. So I did that manually, and uh, we're good to go. So now I'm going to clear off that spot over there and get it ready for the morning, and then I'll see you in the morning. Okay, that was a cluster, and uh, it's, uh, it's set up right here, waiting for me. Um, I do have a coffee. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with yet. That could be a decision for tomorrow morning. There's so many to choose from. Do I want espresso? Do I want double espresso? I don't have a milk frother yet, but put this here. Nice little gift for me in the morning before I go to work. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning and uh, away we go. Time for some caffeine. I think I'm gonna go for this Milazio, which is a medium, medium roast. So let me move all these boxes out of the way and then we'll, we'll take one out. This is really cool. I just love, love all the different ones in there. Okay, first step I guess is just turn it on. Gotta wait for it to heat up. In the meantime, I'll grab one of these little pods out and get it ready. And then this stand here is kind of, this is adjustable. So you can put it wherever you want. I think my cup, I don't think my cup will fit there. So I'll put it towards the bottom. No. Put it here, right in the middle. And grab a cup. I'll just go like this. Okay, I'm gonna put my cup here and I've got to open this thing. It automatic opens. Wow. And this little guy goes in here. Boom, just like that. And then turn it down. There's actually a barcode underneath that the system will read and brew according to the instructions. 
coffee. Press the button on top and it starts doing things. There it goes, look at that. doing it. Wow. And it looks really pro. Like it's done. Wow. And just like that, we've got a cup of coffee. Good God. The other cool thing that when you're done making it and um, you go to make another one, watch what happens. Oh, it pushes it right into a disposable container that's in the back here. I don't know if you can see that. And then you just, when that's full, you basically just pull that out, dump it out, and you are good to go. This is high, high luxury. It's the little things in life. Pretty cool, huh? And then this goes back down, and it's ready for your next espresso. Bing, bang, boom. Oh, I think I turned it on. Turn it off. I think it auto, it auto goes off. Let's just leave it. I like to have a little bit of cream in my coffee and I don't have a milk frother so I'm going to use sweet cream. Let's go out of here. From Natural Bliss, it's a sweet cream, has sugar and cream inside. Put some of this in there. Oh, it's the end of the bottle. And we are good to go. Look at this. And uh, I'm going to start my morning routine. So I'm not going to bring you through all of that. Uh, but I usually will watch the news. I'll check on things like stocks and uh, news for the day. Kind of a nice outlook. And um, all while drinking this lovely cup of coffee. Let's try it out. Hmm. That's really good. I think it needs to be stirred though. Okay, test taste number two. Oh yeah, it's got a nice creamy um, on top froth. What do they call that, the crema? And um, I mean, obviously it'd be better if it was froth milk, but this is gonna get me going. I don't know, what do you think of these auto espresso machines? Do you like them? I think this makes a pretty good cup for the house. Uh, I might even buy those uh, what do you call them like disposable cups so i can make pretend i'm buying it from somewhere else and then some syrups and all that it's a whole whole rabbit hole so that is my unboxing and trying out of the breville nespresso virtual plus it's very intense and um yeah nice addition to the kitchen and get you going in the morning if you like this hit that thumbs up and uh also subscribe because you know what it's free and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye dudes.